Hey Sabre Freaks, um, just got another Sabre build finished for a customer over in Ireland. Um, it's a Roman Props Luke V4 and this was from the first run or you can call it a Mark 1 V4 if you would like. Um, obviously you know that Roman has changed a few pieces on these now. Um, he had me com commission this before the V4 Mark II came out. So what he had done, um, he had a machinist over in Ireland make a new blade emitter. I can show you the original one just for comparison. So he had a new blade emitter made, which was longer, which looked more like the one in the pictures from the screenshots of Luke in TLJ. And you can see the difference in the length the blade holders. He also had a blade plug made which he had machined so at the end of it um, is drilled through so you can see the LEDs light up in there although I wouldn't recommend it um, just purely because you blind yourself if you look at it. <laughs> um, he also had a new control box made with um, sorry he didn't have a new control box he had a new plate made for larger triangles and then when Roman released the Mark II of this Sabre he actually managed to purchase the control box from Roman. Um, it had a few little nicks in it that I had to um, sand and clean up before I could put it on. Um, but the other thing that makes this unique as well is the fact that this one operates from a sliding switch. So basically I've modified this so that um, sliding switch obviously works here, auxiliary works there on a tactile and um, the other thing that this has got is a crystal focus um, version 9 and it has a 7.4 volt 18500 twin pack battery which runs from there all the way through to I think it's around about there it stops. So it takes up all of this space. The speaker is actually mounted here, facing this way. It's not as loud as it could be, but it's the only position I could get the 28mm bass speaker to fit, because this end is just too narrow to fit the bass speaker in, basically. Um, if, if I could have got it to fit this end, it would have been probably a lot louder, but it's still loud anyway. Um, the other thing is I designed the chassis to go with it as well. And the board is right there, so your SD card is really um, easy to access. It's got a 1.3mm recharge socket directly below the um, board. I'll just pick the pommel up. <clears throat> um, other things uh, that I did to it um, is the I removed the chrome on the... Well, I won't say removed it, but I basically sanded this with a fine wet and dry to give the triangle belt loop on it a satin finish rather than a out in your face chrome finish that it came with. Um, obviously there's a bit of tape on there on the pommel and on the triangle to stop it from damaging the sabre until the customer receives it and then he can take them off and if he damages it then it's his prerogative basically. So yeah I'll uh, just pop the blade plug out and um, put in a blade Obviously with these, these are slide overs, i.e. the blade slides over the main LED in them. Um, the one thing that anyone that owns these always needs to remember, when you put the blade in, if you've got a tight blade, turn it clockwise because <clears throat> the heat sink holds the emitters on, on the Roman's props. So always turn it this way so that you don't loosen it. And the same thing when you're taking it out, Turn it clockwise to remove the blade if you need to twist it to pull it out. Don't turn it anti-clockwise. Always clockwise. <clears throat> now this blade that I've got is only a cheap blade and it doesn't show the colour off as well as my other blades. Unfortunately my other blades don't fit this. This is the only thin wall one that I keep because I only tend to use heavy duty grade blades when I use my sabres. <clears throat> so this is basically it's only got a few wraps of um, cellophane inside very thin and the outside I sanded it and this has got a green green white tricree main lead in it 
<clears throat> so there's no color, well there is color changing, but it'll only go through graduals until it's white or silvery looking. And I believe this is the Hero sound font that it's on at the moment. Yeah, it's the Hero sound font. So basically all the other sound fonts are stock ones apart from the Hero sound font which is on it. Um, I do believe he wants me to put another Luke um, sound font on it. Um, I just haven't got around to doing that yet. So there you go guys. That is the Roman props with modifications. Um, version 1 of the Luke uh, V4. And uh, yeah, if you like it, hit the like button guys. Subscribe and um, if you want a custom install or a custom saber making, hit me up. Thanks for watching. Bomb out.